In this video, I'd like to demonstrate some of the new functionality we have added to NetFab 2025 around the support module. Uh, the first uh, support improvement I'd like to demonstrate uh, will be done on this ellipsoid model. So let's uh, select it, go to generate supports and open the support editor. Uh, to demonstrate this functionality, uh, what I want to do is I would like to create a new uh, support script. We're just going to call this one root and then add a bar on area action. Uh, if I just execute, we can take a look at what kind of uh, bar supports this adds. Uh, to demonstrate this uh, new improvement on the root system, uh, what I will do is I will look for the anchors and increase it to roughly 15 millimeters. And that way we get a, um, a easier to look at group of bars. And currently uh, these bars have a bar property, bar contour of cross. Let's make them solid with a polygon corner count of 16. So they're a little bit uh, more solid looking. Okay, now that we've done those changes, let's introduce the uh, new behavior, which is in the root system. Uh, historically, if you added four roots to a bar, uh, what NetFab generated is a very stable four root bar support. And the three on the outside were in a triangular shape and the one in the center uh, made it a four point root system. If you added a uh, two leg support, you can see that the roots are, you know, two points make a line. However, in the past, if you made your uh, roots with three legs, uh, those three legs were also in a line, which made it um, less than ideal for stability of the root. In the 2025 version, whenever you add a root system with three legs, NetFab automatically adds those roots as a triangular system, which makes it more stable. All right, now that we've demonstrated the improvements to the root system, let's go ahead and close the support and open the other part in the support module to demonstrate um, the next improvement. So the next improvement I want to show is to do that, let's add a new script, call it two and call that case plate. We will once again add a bar on area we will once again improve, increase the anchor distance to roughly 10. And we will make our bars, solid bars, and execute. And here we can see that our solid bars, when they touch the build plate, we have, um, uh, we have um, the application of um, pads. Right? And the pad has a height of one and a half. What we can also do is we can add a base plate if we group these bars together. So the bar uh, supports have the concept of grouping. So if you go to the group section, we can say we want to group five of them together and then we want to taper them. Uh, let's taper them roughly 50% uh, and we add a base plate to the entire group. When I execute this, you can see that NetFab automatically groups them, tapers them to a single uh, central position and uh, roughly five of them per group. You know, that's an approximate number. It changes to four, it changes to six or seven sometimes. Um, and then it adds a base plate. Now this base plate action is on the bottom and its properties are controlled here. And if I make that 1.5, which is the same height as the uh, uh, pad, you will see it visually. If I make it slightly less than that, you will then be able to see the um, pads uh, peeking out of the base plate. And we don't need such a large outer offset. Let's make that one as well. And you will see now a more distinct visualization. Both the pads and base plates, of course, have taper angles. So we can add maybe a 20 degree taper to both the pad and the base plate. And we get this type of a visualization. In the um, 2025 version, in addition to being able to create pads and base plates and taper them, we added a new pattern type for the base plate. Historically, you could make your patterns as solid, rectangular, hexagonal, circular, or column. To demonstrate this, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and change the tapering to a slightly um, a less uh, number. So let's go uh, maybe 20% tapering. So they're less tapered and change this from a solid to maybe a hexagonal and execute. So here you can kind of see uh, the hexagonal pattern. 
However, um, this was truly a hexagonal pattern, which means sometimes uh, you would get a connection points that were not connected to any beam. So another one to look at would be maybe a circular one. If I execute, you will see circular zones in a similar fashion. If I did the column view, you would see these uh, free floating columns. So what we did in the 2025 version is added a new uh, pattern type called con point connection net. And the point connection net always connects all uh, the uh, connection points on the build plate together in a uh, very um, intricate manner such that you always have a full connectivity of all the points together and no free floating points. So using this method will allow you to uh, cut down on material on the base plate while keeping all the points connected together in a intricate manner. Using these improvements you'll be able to create your bar supports and have stable connections. Not to mention that we added the uh, bracing uh, in the bar supports, uh, the previous release. So you can simply turn on um, K style or N style or X style braces and connect multiple beams together using the braces to make each beam extra stable. And if you reduce the, reduce the angle, you'll get even more uh, connections between them to make them more stable in the Z direction as well. So in this video, we covered the improvements to the bar supports in both the root systems and how the base plates are created with patterns when you group uh, beams together.